I'm Dr. Michael Reardon. I'm a cardiac surgeon at the Houston Methodist Bakey Heart and Vascular Center. As we all know, TAVR has become an established treatment of a, a severe aortic stenosis. And because of a family of randomized trials we've run, it's now been approved at all risk levels. In fact, risk is no longer part of our guidelines. Therefore, we're seeing younger and, and healthier patients in our clinics being considered for TAVR. Therefore, it's very important for us in advising these patients to know between TAVR and surgical valve, what's the rate of structural valve deterioration? And if you get structural valve deterioration, what are the clinical outcomes of that? This study answers those questions. The study design is we took the core valve high risk and surgical heavy randomized cohorts, which is over 2,000 patients. We use the randomized cohort to compare the difference in structural valve deterioration between surgical biologic valves and TAVR using a core valve or an Evolute. We then added the non-randomized continued access arm to get to almost 5,000 patients and use this larger number to look at the outcomes and the predictors of structural valve deterioration. The most interesting findings are that, that surgery has more structural valve deterioration than TAV is, something that most of us would not have initially predicted, and that this is accentuated in people that have a small annulus, less than 23 millimeters by CT scan, such as women or smaller, smaller people. We also found that if you did develop structural valve deterioration, whether you had a surgical valve or TAVR, it basically doubled your risk of death and doubled your risk of hospitalization. We also found that the people that tended to get structural valve deterioration were those with a larger body surface area, women, younger patients, and patients that are healthier. These results will influence clinical practice in a number of ways. My patients come in every day that are often candidates for both surgery and for TAVI, and they want to know basically what they should have. And one question is, is how likely is the valve you put in me to develop dysfunction at some point? If it does develop dysfunction, how is this dysfunction going to affect my health and well-being? This study helps answer those questions and helps us make good decisions for our patients when they come to see us. Well, the next steps are that this is a five-year study. The SIRTAV, the intermediate risk trial, and the Evolute low risk trial will both be followed for 10 years. We'll gather this data at 10 years, and this longer-term follow-up will further inform the field, our patients and practitioners, how best to make these decisions. The take home message is if you have, if you're at a high or intermediate risk for surgical aortic valve replacement and you get surgery or TAVI using a core valve or aerolute super anti self expanding valve, your TAVI valve will have less structural valve deterioration than any of the surgical valves used in the trial. If you get structural valve deterioration, whether you have a TAVI or surgery, it doubles your risk of mortality, it doubles your risk of hospitalization. We also see that this is, this is accentuated in small annuses. So people like women do much better.